Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Ironman difficulty with nothing but rookies. Yep, that's the theme of this campaign. It's a bloody, messy, gory, quite intense fighting campaign and time for Operation Smoking Anger, which pretty much sums up my thought process around the last missions. We got our teeth kicked in oftentimes, but we just barely are hanging by a thread and it feels like it's one of those little uh, knotting threads or uh, sawing threads and we're uh, hanging there as a 200 pound uh, male and just waiting for it to pop. So that's kind of my pic picture of the current situation. We got to get uh, the supply rate. We got to win it for multiple reasons. Number one, I don't want to lose this region here. And number two, I actually would want to get a few extra supplies. So we bring uh, Roby and Debat. Roby is potentially our best equipped uh, or best uh, statted uh, rookie. He already got five healths. Yay. One more than the others. Um, and he got a bit of dodge uh, and he even got some hack. So you can see slowly but surely we're building the, I use loose air quotes here, super soldier and uh, that really works well uh, i think in 500 years uh, we might get a rookie up to a normal uh, soldier standard with that technique unfortunately we will not have that much time anyways he's accompanied uh, by diva his battle brother and x 6 and ataxia two new uh, so x 6 is not new he was in the last run but ataxia is new uh, got him uh, he is flexing his muscles but Let's see how he's going to do once he hit the enemies, uh, because everybody is a gangster until they run into an alien, and then it very soon uh, looks like wetting your pants. Let's see if Exaxir is uh, one of those guys, or if he is actually a real hardcore rookie. See you on the mission, guys. All right, we have just landed. So it's one of those... Uh, grab the crate missions and that means we just we we effectively just need one crate to be successful which as you can imagine i will do whatever it takes to uh, to get that crate uh, this archon is bad news getting it done all right xqsx and Ataxia. Okay, Ataxia. Uh, both of you are moving down as well. I don't want to stay in the high ground. I would like to get that crate ASAP. Hopefully these guys won't move. And there's a bit of a hope for the Losts to give us some indirect fire support. Roby moves up. And are we trigger? Okay, we're not trigger uh, triggering. Very good. Evert moves with him. And now... Stepping off. I need one of you guys down here. So how do we how do we pull this pack here? Move into position. Fifty six percent. That's a fifty fifty. If we're hitting him with an Overwatch, that's not good. What's our chance with Roby? 74, that's not much better. Are we really having an advantage from fighting uh, from from an, uh, from an um, ambush position? I don't know, but this here could be a crit and it's 100%. So 
Maybe we're just starting with the purifier. Our target, minimal damage. Well, it's so much for the crit. Or the leg thereof. a mimic beacon theoretically On my way. and it's likely going to be very practically okay I trigger as free action okay cool I'll take that any day of the week Three shots, that's good. No, 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 no. Let's start with the Archon. Good. Let's try to hit him. Mind you, this is high ground and really decent, uh, really decent gear. That's tracer rounds and high ground. And the Archon is still a pain in the rear. Okay, hopefully it starts to move here and then maybe starts to burn. Who knows? Did it just ignore the Mimic Beacon? Well, fantastic. We want one crate and one crate only, and that is all we need to do. Afterwards, we can get a GTFO and just leave. Getting rid of a lost. And Roby moves in. This might trigger. It does not, which is fantastic. Marking the supplies. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. All right. Continuing to hit. That's good. That's that's very good. Moving a bit closer. Oh boy. Sweet execution. But this is a double, um, double full cover position, and so far we're we're doing reasonably well. But I don't know if we can get more crates than that. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Okay, I'll I'll see. Maybe Roby can get another crate. There's another pack right here. Looks like a purifier and something. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1-5. On the move. Good, Divad moves over here. Starting to hit the dasher. Target eliminated. And another dasher. And obsessive reloader trigger. It's not the worst time. We had like one shot left. Our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Okay, perfect. Well, I was hoping for a few more hits. I don't want to take any risks here. We're going to kill as many as we can. 
because the kills will um, increase uh, the likelihood that they are bonding. And that's really the only thing that we could hope for. Not sure. Some of the crates are active, some aren't. Oh, this. Just out of curiosity, could we... Hit this, it would explode. I'm not sure if the explosion radius is large enough. It is with the uh, remote start, then you can level that entire area. I think they would need to get a bit closer Rolling. for a normal explosion to be meaningful. Good, we're reloading. Fantastic. So far, so good. A few more enemies for us. Let's try to kill, like I said, as many as possible. Maybe with d because he's the bond made of Roby and we want to strengthen the bond. Definitely a couple of really nice kills here. Good, not sure what we're going to do. I think I can't reach. There are so many crates further down the line, but I can't reach the crates here I'm on the move good I decided to move up a little bit moving on target location come get some we're green to go Uh, this looks bad. The crates are are becoming a problem. I think we can't really uh, we can't really get to them. All right, our only Overwatch. Was not successful, but this is a nice little position where we could hit all three of them. Roby moves up. Hitting that elite lancer. We are team working. Very nice. Target locked. And nice, very nice. Uh, just almost pulled more of the loss. Where is our stock? Uh, that should be up here. This is 100% kill, thanks to the stock. Let's 
purifier may, might explode. Uh, he did not. Okay. Apparently, it's difficult to see this guy. On my way. All right, that looks like a good shot. Unfortunately, it's a miss. All right. This guy is moving back, which means there is at least one more pack. And of course, we're seeing more loss. I'm trying so hard to get more crates, but... Our offensive potential is limited. By the way, I'm just wondering, why didn't... I upgrade to plasma rifles. Hmm. Second, that is a fantastic question. Why did you not upgrade to plasma rifles? If I was a viewer, I would ask myself why did the streamer not upgrade to plasma rifles? Alright, I'll think about a good excuse and then I will let you guys know. Overwatch. Okay. Because guess what? I mean, with plasma rifles, this I'm here would over. actually be reasonably, reasonably easy. Easier. Overwatch. Good, come on. There is the other pack. I've just barely saw a sliver of health uh, there. Not 100% sure what the last pack is going to be, but it could be the Viper King. I think we, honestly speaking, I, I don't know if we can get that much further. That. There is another crate which we could maybe take. A couple of crates here. This guy is moving to here. The, I can see someone hungering there. Good, and we're now dealing with Lost Brutes that have 10 hit points. No, this guy even has, like, what, 7, 9, 11, 12 hit points. Okay. 
Okay. Moving up. Overwatch. 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 I was trying to get those crates. Still doesn't work. Yeah, we need more firepower. Way more firepower. So plasma rifles is it is, and then pray for the upgrade for all plasma rifles, the breakthrough. That will give us another point of damage. We can use each and every upgrade in this run. Look, they're hitting reasonably well. My concern is uh, there's still another pack somewhere out here. And I'm not necessarily seeing how we're going to get that last pack. Moving the designated coordinates. This here would be great. But it would be risky. And for one crate that is not worth it. But maybe one of the crates over here. Who knows? Let's try to... Yeah, okay, never mind. I would rather reload. Throw the overwatches. Okay, we killed as many as we could for now. XQ6 also reloads. Yeah, we're we're lacking. You can see we're behind the curve. Although I'm trying to push relatively hard, we just don't have enough. Um, we just don't have enough uh, power. The Viper here, I just saw her, might be part of the entourage of the Viper King. Believe it or not, these are already good shots. 81% for a non-high ground uh, shot. Yeah, okay. Still up. Never mind. Guns dry. No longer a threat. Enemies down. Good. Time to kill more of them. 96% shots, solid miss. Moving out. Hostile neutralized. Okay. Well, the good news. Oh, yeah. We got most of them. The bad news. We lost our crate. Because I won't be able to reach that. And just in time another lost swarm appears. Something is here. They even turn around and look into the direction of the Viper. Get it together. Can we get through that? And maybe still get a crate or two. Is that too much to ask for? Got 
four more crates. Rock and roll. Look, we're just going to see what happens, okay? Priest is in sustenance, so there was a priest, uh, but I don't know how many targets we've actually hit. Well, that could trigger yet another Lost Swarm. I do not want that to happen. Equally, I'm wondering how many enemies had been in that pack. My ammo's running low. Kill confirmed. The moment that you don't have high ground and you're just trying to hit them the on flat ground without any bonuses, it gets so difficult. The rookies just don't hit. Yeah, the Lost refuse to attack them because they are not officially triggered as a pack. Alright, it's time to get out of here. We, I don't see that we can get one of the last two crates. We managed everything without getting injured, which is great. Might as well just take it as a win. I know it sucks. Okay. I'm always a competitive person. I want to win these missions. At the same time, if it really does nothing other than creating kills, which do not even uh, yield XP, well, it, it sort of bonds, but then again. All right, off we go. Small little last minute shot. Nope. Yeah, I didn't get it. I'm out of here. Target down. Good, and we're out of ammunition. So, see you later. The taxier and XQS6 did well. I don't think it was enough to bond them, but I mean, look. We killed uh, 50 enemies. I'm not sure if that's one or more or two more packs in there. What is sure is the uh, priest survived with sustenance, so he would have been a one shot. There was at least one viper, um, potentially a second one. And there's a good chance that the viper king would have been there. And the problem is running into the viper king just blindly means you can't even uh, withdraw. Uh, due to the ruler reactions and I just didn't want to lose um, someone based on a reckless maneuver. If they would have moved into us, into our overwatch, okay, fair, I could see that. But it was un uh, it is unnecessarily um, reckless to try that. I think we did not get an upgrade. Yeah. Look, it's okay. It could have been better, could have been worse. Resistance contacts, that is fantastic. Uh, we're going to do that right after making contact. Resistance contacts is plus one contact, right?
We're now aggressively getting uh, dark events. Oh, this is nasty. Our research in remarkable time, Commander. Greetings, Commander. Mm-hmm. Powered armor. I will send word That's the next uh, next step. And for engineering, Just I would want to course. know why did I not upgrade weapons? See, the real answer was I did not upgrade weapons because it costed 50 Elerio. However, Dad sacrificed the only thing he had left. Yeah, I can't cancel a research. Mm. I won't let it be for nothing. Well, we need we need more uh, elarium and more cores. She'll be the toughest thing in the sky. We need more cores. New orders, Commander. Anything that we could build which would make sense here. Look, I'm low-key thinking about an ultrasonic lure. Two charges. There are literally losses on every single mission. And we could mess up the enemies with that. I'll build one. Can't believe I'm saying it, but it might be a game-winning item. If I wouldn't have played the Choose to Lose run, I would not have appreciated just how well that was. And by the way, recruitment just got 100% more expensive. Great. Commander, we have a line on the chosen warlock here. Located. Okay, so. Double agent. Well, that is a helpful bonus. Um, I like it. This could be a fifth member. One that is helpful. And let's get resistance contacts because Avenger, we really need resistance forward. contacts more and more and more. By the way, Ilarium would be great as well. And in one day, I might be able to buy a new Alarium. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. It is unfortunate, Commander. Good. Brutal crackdown. We can live so with that. Mediocre. Yep, that's fine. Okay. And intense training, that's nasty. Um I would like to counter show of force. Adding more enemies to every mission. That's bad, very bad. We gotta keep both of them. I'm still trying to sort of get a third um, resistance order. And what else do we have? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Dodge plus six is good and 100 supplies is also good. Got an engineer here. This one is good. Uh, the feedback here is actually really good. Um, Engineer isn't bad either. Let's put an engineer. Let's put an engineer here. William, yes. Dodge six. Uh, mm, that can only be Roby. Because he's going to be our super soldier. And... Diva waits for him until he's back. In the meantime, let's just send him in with Hayward. Although, although if we put Diva here, they have bond level two, so it uh, pushes the duration down by one day um, and even increases their bond. So, might as well do that. We'll get the job done. Okay, Avenger plotting new course. I am mainly worried about not getting my upgrade for the weapons. Alarium crystals, yes, please. 
Oh, superior conditioning would be so, so, so good if we had it. Hmm. They are not selling the uh, superior items that I want, superior um, scope uh, for once, or superior repeater. The laser sight, mm, not that good. Are we going for a stock for three damage? Potentially not worth it. We don't have enough items on enough slots on our weapons. Yeah, we can't do that, so uh, we can't hunt the Chosen, so that won't be an option. Too bad. Can we sell something? I mean, we could sell Advanced Conditioning because we can't even use it. Might as well bunker that 100 uh, income. And now let's do... We wanted to do since so so long. Hey, Which is upgrade the weapons. That's my rifle. Yes, please. Don't need it, don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. I wish we could use any of that. Yeah, EMP grenade is great as well, but we don't have enough room. Is there anything else? Plasma grenade upgrade. I think we... Hmm. It's an Elarium core. Are we really using plasma grenades? Let's think about that. We're using heavy weapons mainly, so I don't think it would be a good idea. Not yet. Powered armor, and very soon this uh, here will open up. In terms of resistance ring, still can't get that holo communicator. That's unfortunate. Okay, we want more resistance contacts. Avenger plotting new course. Because that will keep us in the game. We need to expand, expand, expand to get to all of the facilities. Okay, so a few things. Number one, we need more energy. Number two, um, resistance communications is the next thing to do. Communications facility construction initiated. And let's start doing that because then we will need to expand further and further. Nice. The only facility that I can access soon-ish just got an extremely powerful alien there. And in case you don't know what that means, I think it's the third alien. Um, yep, this is the Berserk Queen. And here we have the Archon King. Mwah! Chef Kiss. It's great to have more than, uh, more than one alien just running around and waiting... Uh, on missions. Okay, they are still lightly wounded. The moment that they are stopping to be lightly wounded, we can bond, increase their bond. And we got a mission. Neutralize a dark VIP or capture him for 77 intel. Well, it's not that we can say no. Uh, and if we were uh, to capture him, we would get intel, which we again need to expand. Not my favorite mission type. Uh, if you're playing from behind, uh, the VIP missions are typically quite eh. Quite eh. So we're going to do that next and then hope, hopefully 
uh, we can expand to uh, Oceania and get this section here. Yep, that's pretty much it. Technical analysis would be the next big step. So after Oceania, I would say we're going to get technical analysis. That could help us big times in the run. In terms of weapons, let me just check something real quick. Say, who had the weapons? I think XQS6, for instance. Yeah, that's still not the third slot. That could be another great upgrade for us. The third um, slot. PCSs are unfortunately locked. No way to unlock it. And I mean, look, no training of the abilities. If you just look at Hogbite, we're not training anything, but we got a hundred um, AP and we can do nothing with it. Adapt to follow your choices, Commander. Yeah, that's a bummer that you can't um, that you can't really do much uh, with these ability points. I, it would have been a great system. It, it's actually a nice idea for a mod. It could have been a great system to allow you to almost raise your attributes um, with those points. And if you do it for a rookie, um, since they have lower attributes you essentially could raise their stats almost like uh, training in uh, the uh, covert ops missions just a little bit not much but that way you could uh, spend uh, the 100 ap onto something uh, useful yeah the psylab uh, continues but like i said i'm not sure if we're going to go try to continue with uh, four we just got a weapon upgrade, so technically we, it should feel easier. But there are so many enemies that we haven't seen. We haven't fought against Andromedons yet. We haven't really fought against Sectopods and Gatekeeper yet. Specifically, Gatekeeper are going to be such a pain in the rear. Because uh, they will be almost unhittable for us. Um, yeah, maybe... Maybe... Uh, that's a place for a e well-placed EMP grenade. But even that wouldn't kill them outright. So not sure how we're going to deal uh, with that. Uh, we, we will have more explosives in the end game. So effectively that might make up for some of the shortcomings. But can we really do it with four rookies? Can we even do it with six rookies? I don't know. We're going to see. I will try to push as far as possible. And if push comes to shove, we might need to expand and do a... Um, slight uh, squad size increase for now we're okay the world is still in danger but we're uh, barely alive and i appreciated that mission if you did as well uh, smash the like button button like hulk smashes uh, um, loki yep that's his name and uh, leave a comment thank you and see you in the next episode bye bye